So here I am, my sewing machine is in lots of bits. Now I've attempted to recoat those. I don't you can't do it safely with chrome, so I've used a tip. I suggested using solder. And it does work relatively well. It's better than the rusty color they were all before. I'm not coating those because there's no need to, but you can see. That's how they all were before, and that's how they are now. So, it does work. You know, it's better than the rust color. And I've got everything else on the soak at the moment. So, I shall show you. It's a bit stinky in the bathroom at the moment from all these. So this is the bobbin winder, and it's currently soaking to get coated. It's well on its way, um, being coated in tin. So you can see some of the ends are rather shiny now, and some of the iron is actually starting to look rather good. But it's taking a very long time, it's bubbling merrily away there, and I've got a D-cell battery hooked up to it. So that's taking a long time, and there's a nice bath of caustic soda for some of the parts. And then, because I can't really fit it so easy, I've got the body of the machine there and paint stripper. And it's a slow process, I'd probably better with a caustic bath for the uh, machine head, but I don't have anything quite that big. But, uh, that's soaking away. I need to put my gloves on and uh, as you can see here it's all coating itself. It's pretty cool actually. But it's working. Actually, pretty good. See some flaws in the metal there, but what you kind of expect. Now we can see all the uh, filler that I need to sand off. Get a perfectly smooth finish. And, you know, that's one of the pieces which I have actually managed to get some perfect. I've got quite a way to go on this stuff yet. I've got to still stand, seal, and paint the black, put on the decals, and then do the final uh, lacquer coat. Okay, so here I am working on my decals for my machine. My, uh, I had a lot of different concepts. So the first one I wanted to try out was um, to print them off like this in black. So what I did is I took phot phot photographs of them and I digitized the original decals and then worked through them. And I'm Pretty impressed with the results. I did a pretty good job considering I've not really done that much. 
And then, following what some people suggested you can do with paper quite easily, is you put the um, foil over it and run it through the printer. And it works bri bri brilliantly on paper, but as you can see, it has a slight uh, fault when you put it on the water slide decal. So namely, it sticks to the plastic. So that was a complete fail. So I thought, hmm, that's not going to work. So then I decided to try some glue, and obviously the wrong, wrong type. So I managed to get some part, but ultimately, without a stamp, I had to paint all that glue on. Anyway, so that didn't quite work as planned. So what I ended up doing, which is a lot of hard work and surprised me, was actually painting these by hand. So I've done one of these already, but I'm going to do two now. And I've had some degree of success with this method. So I have to paint them, but my patience wasn't quite good enough, so some of them have smudged a bit. But, because the pattern is so incredibly fine, really, the only way to have any success whatsoever is to use a stiletto. I don't have a, a fine enough paintbrush, it'd be literally a thread. So what I found is using this, this um, gold, antique gold paint, you can get brighter gold, but this antique gold paint, so this is on a stiletto. What you have to do is, and I need my glasses off for this. Ooh, it's still too far. You really, really, it's very, and I need a little dip. You really have to go carefully to not get a complete mess. But the thing is it dries pretty quickly. It's the tiniest little drop. And then work. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit and see the actual. And how anyone ever created the first stamps of this, I'll never really know. So I'll just. Oops, sorry. Zoom down a bit. Okay. So this is the fuss part. So you get the really tiniest little thing. And sometimes you get too much still. You have to get this really precise action going in order to get it perfect otherwise you get too much on the stiletto and you can't and it makes a mess basically and eventually you sometimes get it perfect and other times you don't so I found this was the most successful way I could actually get it to work, but it's fiddly, you just have to have a bit of patience. The results are actually, in the end, quite, quite, quite good. So that was a bit too heavy that time. So you just have to have more patience really than I have for doing something like this. What I've found is, once the ink, well, it's kind of like ink, but once it starts flowing, the paint, it's okay. It's actually the difficulty is getting it to start flowing without putting too much on in the first place. So maybe a brush would be easier, but I don't, I, the finest one I had is just not working for this. Basically, you 
flows. Mm. So once it flows, it, it's pretty easy. It's just it getting it to flow at the beginning. Yeah, I find it extremely difficult. I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but <clears throat> it's the only way I've figured out with the tools I have in the house. <coughs> found this really old stiletto around. It's good and sharp, so it works. And some of the easiest ways to get it flowing is if you've got a bigger part of the design where you can do three drops, you can put a big drop there and then from then on it, it acts as a wink inkwell. Like that. It's sort of it's a lot easier to do. So here I can put a fair day some oops ah, bollocks. And once you do, it works, but sometimes it's extremely difficult to get it flowing well. And once you have paint, it's... Oops, there's too much there, a little more cooperative. So you could do this with multicolors as well, which I might have to do for my, um, oops, that's a little bit messy. And then you can, but the problem with these water slide decals is they are really, really easy to tear. They are so fragile, it's ridiculous. I mean, you can see why, because of course they won't show up then when you put them on the machine, but my goodness how anyone gets really good at putting them on. I've ended up using a little paintbrush to try and help me get them on without tearing them. And even that's... because you have to smooth out the bubbles and stuff. So it's not so easy. Mm -hmm. It's too much. Start there. So sometimes you can just get it going and then it works really well, but other times it's extremely difficult. Right. So now I just need to do the other one, let them dry, and then I can attach them to the machine. I've used the original decals, what, the ones that I could, um, to create that pattern. I've had to change some things, like the center of the machine there. I've used a different decal because it's impossible to get that decal to work. Um, but it's been a bit of fun. So, an okay job. Uh, with a bit more patience, I think I could have done even better. But I've painted all of those and then put onto a water slide decal and then attached them and I'm quite happy with it. Looks beautiful now.